Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Woolworths has quietly introduced a controversial cash payment method at supermarkets across Australia. The cash handling machines require customers to insert their notes and coins into a separate machine rather than handing cash to the worker. Woolworths staff are present to scan and bag customers' groceries. However, shoppers will be expected to process their own payments. The machines have been rolled out at all Woolworths metro stores since 2020 and are being now being trialed at two Woolworths supermarkets in New South Wales. The machines provide significant benefits to our metro team members by removing the handling, counting, and transporting of cash, as well as reducing the risk of theft. Customers using the machines go through the same process that they'd experience at one of our self-service checkouts, making it an efficient way to complete their shop. Many Aussies were not impressed with the change. What a backward step, Woolworths. You will lose a lot of business by your stupidity, one said. I will be asking for staff discounts soon between self-service and this, another added. I will go elsewhere, another simply stated. Meanwhile, the number of cash-accepting checkouts is reducing dramatically at several stores across the country. For example, at the Pittisty supermarket in Sydney's CBD, only three self-serve checkouts and one staff register accept cash, despite having nearly 30 checkout points in total. New data released by Woolworths found 83% of customers who had 20 items or less in their basket prefer to check out using a self-serve kiosk. However, most customers with over 20 items gravitated towards a manned checkout. Jason Bryce, a financial journalist and pro-cash campaigner, called for supermarkets to ensure 40% of terminals accept cash because about 40% of Australians like to pay with cash. There's an Australian competition and consumer commission process now talking about how to ensure the cash industry can be sustainable, he told Daily Mail Australia. Supermarkets have to make a clear, open, unambiguous commitment to accept cash and provide FPOS cash out. Oftentimes the FPOS system is down, and cash is the only way to pay available, but terminals don't accept cash. We need to be able to pay for food using cash. Mr. Bryce highlighted cash's reliability which was proven during the massive Microsoft outage earlier this month that took most card payment systems offline. The banks can't build a reliable, private, surcharge-free payment system, so there will always be a need for cash, he said. Banks and retailers have to actively support cash acceptance and availability to ensure the cash system is there when we need it. You can't turn on the cash industry when you need it and turn it off when you don't. By Freddie Paul Australia is rushing towards becoming a cashless society but not everyone is ready to wave goodbye to physical currency, and there are good reasons why. The COVID pandemic supercharged a trend toward digital transactions that was already underway, with the use of digital wallet payments on smartphones and watches soaring from $746 million in 2018 to more than $93 billion in 2022. By the end of 2022 cash only accounted for 13% of Australian consumer payments compared to 70% in 2007. The shift towards a cashless society in Australia isn't just a possibility, it's already well underway, RMIT Associate Professor in Finance Angel Zhong said. While Dr. Zhong did not see banknotes disappearing completely, she believed they will become much rarer in day-to-day -day transactions. The functionally cashless society is where we enjoy the convenience of technology, we don't have to go out with a bunch of cash, we can use our phone and smartwatch to make payments, she told Daily Mail Australia. As more Australians embrace the trend a growing number of retailers are only accepting digital payments. Major banks continue to close branches, shrink ATM numbers and are even opening cashless branches, citing a customer preference for online services. However, going electronic has its own sets of risks and could badly disadvantage some sections of the population. Here are the 10 major concerns of going cashless. 1. It can leave out older Australians or others not digitally connected. Dr. Zhong said the strongest adopters of